The kinetic energy formula is a relativistic approximation. Einstein's theory of relativity gives us this expression where gamma is the relativistic factor. This expression is quite different to a half mv squared, but surely at low speeds, those two expressions should be similar. Well, let's apply the binomial expansion and investigate this. I'm going to rewrite the gamma factor as 1 minus v squared over c squared raised to the power of negative a half. Looking at our expression for the binomial expansion, we can set x to be equal to minus v squared over c squared. We can set our n to be equal to negative a half. This technique of applying the binomial expansion, by the way, comes up very often in physics olympiads. So now we're going to get 1 plus n times x. So that's going to be minus a half multiplied by x, which is minus v squared over c squared and then we're going to add plus n which is equal to minus a half times minus a half minus one that's minus three halves and then we're going to divide by two and we're going to multiply by x squared which is going to be v squared over c squared negative v squared over c squared all squared the negative sign will turn to a plus meaning that what we're going to get is v to the power of four divided by c to the power of four let's tidy this expression up and what we're going to get is one plus v squared over two c squared. The two negative signs are going to give us a positive and what we'll be left with is going to be 3 and then be 2. We get this factor of 2 and we get this factor of 2 so it's going to be 3 over 8 v to the power of 4 divided by c to the power of 4. These are the first few terms of the binomially expanded gamma factor. The kinetic energy is equal to gamma minus 1 times mc squared. Rather than gamma, I'm going to write 1 plus v squared over 2c squared plus 3a v4 over c4 plus some other factors. Then we're going to take away 1mc squared. So plus 1 and negative 1 are going to cancel out. And what we're left with will be equal to v squared over 2c squared times mc squared plus 3v4 over 8c to the power of 4 multiplied by mc squared. And now we can cancel out those factors of c squared. If our speed is substantially below the speed of light, then this term here will be negligible. And what we're going to get is v squared over 2 multiplied by m, which is just equal to a half mv squared. You could also have some fun with this expansion and see when do the relativistic effects start becoming really significant. An example of these are the protons in the Large Hadron Collider and you need to have a look at this video in which I calculate their speed as they go around the LHC. So have a look over here. 